hey it's another new day everyone's gonna be very happy to hear that Tommy is officially back there we go there's Tommy <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. hey Tommy hey good to have you back it's good to be back feeling better I am all righty it's been a wonderful day already too. all right, so. all right. well gosh darn it. let's get some work done all right all right you notice here that we have it up on wheels uh, we do have some wood tucked down in there because we don't have the springs in yet but it's not gonna set quite that low but it'll be pretty close to that and we also have in a temporary rear end because the nine inch is not uh, the parts aren't here yet so we haven't built it so we just put in a stock rear end temporarily onto our nice beautiful chassis so that looks a little ugly and then also Tommy has been doing some brake lines and fuel lines. I think he already showed you some of that stuff. But right there's a couple of the brake lines. Fuel lines over in another spot. All right, guys. So this is an injected LS motor. So what we have is we have the fuel rail that has a feed and a return. If you have just a rail that has the just the feed, you can get by with the return with a different, uh, like I think it's a Corvette fuel filter. Anyway, but on this girl, we need to do two lines. We're gonna go off the back of the rail here. We're gonna track right along the transmission here. We'll probably use this as a bracket to hold the lines. And then we're gonna go like this. And then our fuel pump will be right here. All right guys, I'm about to make the fuel lines here. We have a stick of 5 16th steel line and a stick of 3 8 steel line. That's yeah, pretty much close to the same diameter as what's on the fuel rail here. So I'm going to do a bubble flare on here, on both ends here, and that will get our flaring started here, and then we're going to start bending them. Tommy's back. Tommy is back. We're making brake lines. That's what we're doing right now. Fuel. This machine is, oh, fuel lines. We're doing fuel lines out of brake line material. Um, this machine is awesome. Let me show it to you. That guy right there, and it makes like a one-step thing. It's from Eastwood. Anyway, it's pretty cool. We're gonna make a fuel line. I was corrected by Mr. Thomas. We'll make one right now. All right, you want me to do this? Our dies are getting worn out, so uh, yeah, we've not quite I've been brutal to this tool. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, that'll work for fuel. Yeah. It won't work for brake, but it'll work for fuel. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Here's our first flare. We have a tool. It's a Eastwood uh, flaring tool. It works great, by the way. You should look them up if you're doing a lot of this kind of stuff, but. Uh, just for just for advice right now when you're doing a bubble flare for a fuel injection line don't don't crimp it all the way to where you have a huge bubble because I'll tell you what fuel injection line is really hard to get on and that flare right there will work great falls and we all pray hoping for the light of day down to the river I have held the devil's hand felt the weight of my own sin burdened by the heart of man down to the river down to the river
Alright you guys, so let's take you here, so right here is our right front, your brake line tracks along the front cross member, right in here, and it comes up to the block, and this is left front, there's our T, and now we're, our trajectory is going straight back. And now it's pretty good spacing in there now it comes inside the frame rail and pops out right here you see there's there's plenty of room here for that for the heat and now it comes right up and boop, right there All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use a big ugly boom on top of old ugly, there she is. And we are going to grab this girl and we need to set this cab temporarily so we can find out what type of repairs we need to make in a spot like this right here. We need to make sure that it's all coming together. And then also where the transmission comes through or the shifter comes through, we think it's gonna be right against the seat. So we gotta pull all this junk out so we can see what's going on and repair some things that Mr. Ben has done in a previous life and we'll make it right. We'll get old ugly fired up and we will get to working. Down to the river Every man has felt the shame All our blood, it runs the same Father, hear us as we pray To the river. All right, cab is mounted, as you can tell, and we have plenty of room. We're actually probably going to pull the motor back some because we don't want that big of a gap there. But we do have plenty of room to do what we need to do. So. Now this is just temporarily put on here because we have to do a little bit of floor work on it. We're not gonna do a complete for them, but. And it looks like our shifter's gonna end up pretty good unless we move the engine. So we will see about that. We'll see how much it uh, complicates our life. Maybe we'll leave it. All right, guys. I think that's where she wants to be. It's much closer there. Looks a little more aesthetically pleasing. Anyway, let's go downstairs here. 
Let's see what we got under here. And it looks pretty good. So this is where we're going to have to cut a hole in the floor. Somebody's obviously has already started doing that right there. And we're going to go ahead and cut that out and then uh, we'll see what the shifter wants to do. Anyway. Should work pretty good. Hey, thanks for watching.